to do this way. To, to deal with. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. Oh, I finally get to see some of the outside. And just then he kisses my skin. You used mm, to that's weird. Place. Remember, we can listen to the musicians in the uh, with Lady Marjorie. All right, it's beautiful here. Oh bullshit! Why not? Just through here. What are you doing? Wow, how'd you fucking teleport there so fast? I mean, that that then that was kind of a stupid question. Why did you? How did you teleport there? <laughs> uh. Come on, sit down. I hope you've got another one of those. <laughs> I never took you for a lush mirror. Oh, you know it, girl. Or actually. A little one oh. you have. It's just one. You don't know me as well as you think you do. Ah. So, I, uh... Well, that sounded like she said Aria. I was like, whoa, what? What about Aria? <laughs> you want to talk? Talk to Aria. Well... I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Uh, so talking? Yeah, I can tell. I tell you this. Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. I swear. I won't tell a soul. This time I won't. Last time I did. <laughs> I think this time I'll keep it to myself. pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Vera. Flowers. You're a she bastard? Yes. Bastard. I and for some reason that's regard is very that. well. I always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What is your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. And your father didn't stay around, I guess? Uh. Oh, yeah, you're a bastard. How did you get this far? I, I mean, I've been very lucky, I suppose. <sighs> Just. I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my choice. Well, you're not, right? I mean, you're, you're not under running under that name, really. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Why not just talk to both of us? She can talk to me, Mutual finish talking to me, and then she can talk to you. Coming from you is sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that... Sure. But I don't. I have much bigger problems, Sarah. I need to look out for my family. It's true. Yes. You're right. I'm sure I would want to look after my family too. I I'll probably help you out, but much greater than mine. Because I don't, I don't think Marjorie is very useful with this whole father. family business. You need this more than I so do. So it's kind of pointless to even bother. Confiding in her. Hmm. Tyrion walks by. Like, he didn't fucking see us. Like, he didn't what fucking see us beforehand. My lord. Ladies? What have we here? Like, yeah, right. To drink from that flagon? Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He already knows. Not the finest arboret. But a favorite of my sister's. Quite exciting. You think she has shit taste? Handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm <laughs> certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I took the wine from the cellar. Aren't you full of surprises? 
I suggest bringing cups next time. Well, don't worry, I will. There are risks Why are you giving me a dirty food. look? Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. <laughs> Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Oh, Things don't give me that. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy is linked up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords Wait a minute. to for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellsword, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it It's up? a pretty stupid idea, too. I mean, why would you just sell it, like, to people who, over here, who have no business with it, they have no way of knowing what to do with These it, like, men think I have no choice but to deal they with make them. shit ironwood, Imagine the White Hills. When I bring a forester to the table. It might be oh, the shit. first fun I've had in months. But I was trying to process this whole thing you said about the Royal Navy going up in green flames. Like, what? I don't recall this. Now, I do recall something similar to that. But I don't recall what he said. That's all I'll say there, but... Hmm. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Hey. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought I, for you entertainment. Don't, you don't need She's to really... She's a lady, Lord Andros. That much is clear. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira He's like, that a girl. Forrester. Why are you here? A third uh, question. We were told... Because I want to fuck you. ...to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell Well, it's my... It's Forrester Ironwood, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Oh, snap. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss? You can't do this. He just opens the door like he knows. This is a mistake, my lord. Tyrion tell him before him, like, make sure you open the door right when I say this exact line. Lord Whitehill <laughs> will hear of this. Oh. Alright, cool. Such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andrew. There's no need to make threats. I mean, you have no what kind of a threat was that? I was just like, oh, yeah, he'll, 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 he'll hear this. Okay, great. He has ears like everybody else. Cool. Let me know when you've come to like, decision. thanks. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind, Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Yes. Bye, bye. Fuck off. Ah, well, that was fun. Now. Very short lasted fun, but short lived fun, sorry. The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition. Oh shit. reason for coming here. He wants to make this official. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of Ironwood. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You'll have him at your mercy. Or you'll well, how would he... your houses to open war. Yeah. Well, wouldn't, couldn't the Crown just say no to that? I mean, you could try to get it to happen like that. You I do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. Gotta survive, gotta prosper. The arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Of course. Yes. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. <laughs> I'll have an answer for you soon enough. All right, cool. An understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. Or you. For your sake. Probably not you. 
I mean, how much do you really have in this? I mean, it's it, it's a relatively minor stakes situation. It's it's two houses that you don't hear about at all in the main show. So, <laughs> in the main show, in the show, there's no there's no side show yet yet. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there will be maybe I don't know. Oh, well, back to his jungle music. <laughs> it's fucking drum jungle drums music. Uh Reminds me of, like fucking Call of Duty 4 Search and Destroy where it's like meant to be like all like kind of very concentrated stealth base sort of and then you have like this all this when you're the last man standing you have like all this jungle fucking mus loud ass jungle music just playing in the background. They were headed for the main <laughs> it's like, I know another what? way. Oh, oh my Could goodness. Well, to save your house. The it's kind of a stupid question. She was right. She was walking with us the whole time. That's why you're here, isn't it? We're an army. How many guys just kill on our own? Jesus. An army of cell swords and a man to lead them. You hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire, and all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croc? One-eyed Croc, with the second son. They're all with a Targaryen girl now. Oh, let's kill her then. Me a favor. She's pretty, pretty weak. Sure he hates you, actually. No. <laughs> He'll help us. I'll make sure. uh, if it's anything like that, that? Tezak, the guy that we killed, then. On the best of terms. I'll be charming. <laughs> right. I'm pretty good at that, I'd say. It's, it's not suspicious at all that they well, just close doors around me. This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Oh, we're not in Marine. Marine. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Where are we again? What? Slaver's Bay, somewhere. I totally forget. Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. Can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. I, w I honestly wasn't paying attention. I just assumed. Oh. I promise. I just know it's that. Fine. I trust you, Beska. Eventually, we're in m uh, marine in this. Anything. Like is implied. Like it's not implied, but like it's basically and I meant it. said there. Don't know if hint is the right word. You know what I mean. Shit! Oh my god. I don't like that she pushed me. I want to do it myself. It's like less epic when you get pushed there. Against the wall. Like, what the fuck? Ugh, it happened to me the first time I played, too. and Because I wasn't paying attention on time. I didn't get to react. This time it's because I'm fucking talking. Last time, I don't know. Just it wasn't ready for it. Happened way too fast. Too focused on the dialogue. Whatever. Let's stop her. We don't need to resort to violence every time. I mean, typically they're really stupid and they can't just see through, like, the very There's obvious holes in that. Later. They just look Let's ahead. Go. It's like, oh, this 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 room looks suspicious, but I'm just gonna look stare straight at the wall like where there'd be nobody there, obviously. We need to get out of here. Not look at the oh, obvious oh. hiding spots to the s to my sides, and then just move on. <laughs> I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up, Uncle. Don't you worry about me. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. Uh, at least you're being realistic about it. Although, sort of, rather happily, I'd say. Rather casually, at least. Bit worrying. Perhaps. Mirror's Quarters. King's Landing. Alright. Mirror Forester is not in the show either. It's just really weird. Like, we never see Marjorie of her handmaiden, so it's just kind of odd, but. Whatever.
I mean, at least have like a cameo appearance or something and would be kind of nice, but whatever. This th this game kind of started after they were um busted. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> um this game kind of started after um they were already through some of the some of the show. But they could have just, I mean, I don't know, if they, if they, co if they coordinated this together, they could have thought about all that. I mean, those little details are kind of nice, you know. They re they help make everything fit. It's still fun, it's still fine without it, but it's just, you know, when you really think about it, it's just kind of like, it, it kind of takes you out a bit. Everything's still here. Let's look at the desk. Hmm. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? I don't know. Well, actually, what do you mean? Like, they're trying to like save their asses, and the White Hills don't want that. So, there's someone going through my book. Seem kind of obvious. Why would they? Ma why would they leave it so obvious here, though? Maybe they just felt like they didn't have time. Whoa, that looks like a dick. That looks like a giant dick with a balls, balls, ball, ball sacks. Can you see that? It doesn't look as much now, but like when you look at it closely, it was like, whoa. I just, first thing I saw. Why was it the first thing I saw? <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> why would someone <sighs> do this? <sighs> I don't know, maybe it's to taunt me? Maybe it's a trap. Quick, lock that door. I don't think I actually locked it. That was pretty stupid of me. Mira. So they know that it's for me, even though it's in my room. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. They call him the imp. That's a bit untrustworthy. It's usually an insulting phrase. Why would they not just say Tyrion? If they were truly an ally. There. <coughs> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. You'll be fine. Of course, it's like not amount of time passed. Like, what right. the fuck are you talking about? Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, <laughs> you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce... How would you know? How would you know that? I just think <laughs> since there's no obvious damage that Enough. <laughs> just remember that you want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. You're making me nervous, mother. Don't <laughs> you'll do fine. My lord, she's here. Oh shit. Alright, let me take my Xanax. I'll be ready. Roderick? Oh, hi. Did she know or I'm confused? You look. You're really. Elena. It's just me. Yes, of course. It's oh, shit. See you again, Roderick. Oh, shit. I didn't really pay attention. Oh no, it's the other one that I wanted. It's the handsome thing. I did that before. Oh no, I didn't really pay that close attention. Oh, fuck me. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day, Fix. We danced until the sun came out. It's okay, we can we can make up for that little hiccup at the start. But now your house prepares for a funeral. <sighs> Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you really? Oh, let's see. Oh, please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. 
so much has changed since we were children. Playing I actually failed this last time, so this better so easy to find. this better go well this time. Behind the same tree. <laughs> it was mainly I, I did really well early on, but it was like mainly later on. It was like, fuck, totally screwed the pooch. But Roderick, hey man, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. Don't worry, I'll slaughter them all. You oh, said some terrible things. Ooh. The White Hills are your Don't worry, I can still produce world. kids. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Boltons. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to show our loyalty. Shit. She's like, well, this marriage thing isn't a good idea. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But I don't want to die, so fuck you. What's happened to your family? My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. See, they said he wasn't a coward, and look at that. I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests in the kindest of terms that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Oh shit. You know why I didn't remember... She and I have never corresponded. Yet now she writes me directly. Mira must have asked her to intervene. I didn't know your sister carried such influence. You act as if you had no part in this. I feel manipulated, Roderick. Oh shit. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion. Shit, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't remember that coming into play you there. Oh fuck. Me, Roderick. No, you're not. Truly what you want? Well, I mean, you you're do that to me. After everything we've shared. Of course not, Lena. You're free to choose. <sighs> Thank you. I was afraid you'd refuse to back down, but you, I mean, if, about me more than that. if we say fuck you, it's she's just gonna refuse anyway. I think. I will tell my father. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, it's your choice. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's not your choice. All right, I'm not doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, at least I did it. It happened a little bit differently than last time in terms of the the kinds of dialogue. I think, but. Oh and shit. Will stand proudly beside them. Nice. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Mind your own business, White Hill. My son's affairs are not your concern. Then why not tell him why you invited me here? I oh shit. I sent a raven to Lord White Hill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. Why did they just let him in? I don't understand that. They, we just keep letting these guys in. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Brian belongs at that funeral. This family. Not until I'm certain that you know the place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. And then just and then we just have to them obey them more. And keeping oh, them shit. Dull on wine. It makes me I just start to question your I just ordered one around once. Love. Enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. So here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven, but you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, oh boy, oh Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Yeah, I'm sure she really likes that. Uh, that like, she really gives a shit about you, right? Just do it. No, Roderick, don't. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. Fuck you. It really does mean nothing. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking... Oh no, she was saying it means nothing. Okay, in that sense. Well, I mean... The other half of the 
You can't do that. Snow I know what Ramsey said. I'm saying I get kind of played down, so I mean. As of today, I harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. We will not stand for this. What are you going to do? Bludgeon me with a walking stick. <laughs> no, we could kill you right now. I mean, you're not exactly well fortified in our fortress. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick. Ha ha ha. Isn't that clever? Very funny.